Hi there, so today we're going to do uh, Hello World. It's a little bit harder because it's reverse engineering. Personally, I use Gydra, which you can download from the NSA website, but I want to save some time since it's 258 megabytes. Right into it, here we, we start into creating a project. Sorry if I'm moving a little quick, I want to get this set up and video not too long. I'm going to, in the project, add, oh wait, I gotta open it first. Okay, and while we do that, we test a little bit of the output. Wait one second. Uh, over here, file, import. <laughs> We're going to run it. Analyze, yes. We analyze, I like that. Okay. And back to the online one. I just entered a lot of A's, maybe buffer overflow attack, like always, just simple. And as you see, there's segmentation fault. I don't know how specifically how many A's there were, so I'm gonna enter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, multiple times <coughs> until we get the same error because I know it's possible. And there we go, we have the segmentation problem. And then right at the end, there's the <coughs> there's the uh, weird characters. So now I'm going to go through the code that I analyzed uh, pardon I'm a little bit rusty on this and don't know 100% what I'm doing or exactly what I'm doing right away <coughs> going to save it to a C file oh shit oh GDB oh. this is just great that's a lot of gibberish. Okay, <laughs> main class. This is where all the things happen. We have the 28, which means 32. Once we went over 32, it had a problem. Uh, this is the print flag. That's what we objectively want to do. Um, let's see here. We got call terminated. This is reading in, and we have the negative one. I could edit the variables, but I don't want to. Um, just looking for what happens after I overflow it, what, where it would go in the registry. I'm going through this code. I went through it earlier. I'm just trying to show some parts of it. As you can see, this is a memory address that it reaches to after it reads in all the input. So from right there, we have that's where it goes. I want to push the print flags to do that afterwards because it executes whatever's extra afterwards. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Like, once it's done filling up the array, it runs whatever's left. So I want to print the flags. Uh, this is in... A... EXE yeah, file, if I'm not mistaken. So I could test it in the file, but... I want to go straight to the application. When testing, I'm just looking around a little bit more, make sure I got the right thing. <laughs> I said I did it earlier, but I didn't write it down, so I remember part of it. <clears throat> Thanks for going with me and holding on right here as I 
confuse myself. Uh, there's the string. That's what we're looking for. And then we have the underneath it the is word false. I don't know what that is. I might need to look that up later. Huh? Where is that leading to? Don't. Da, da, da. Hmm. <laughs> That's weird to do a five. Huh. Okay. Well, let's see. Find a symbol. Different memory addresses for those specific events. Running through. Pushing to RDB. RBP. R RBP. Then we move it. Flag. Leaping. I should release a video about Gaidra and how to use it. And actually learn like refresh my memory on it but uh let's see here but i mean that would take a little while a little while it'd take a long while damn it would take so long so we're gonna try and enter the memory address of the print flags Zero, 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 zero. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are not overflowed, so we're going to delete some. Come on. Mm, maybe. Let's see. I don't want to do that though. <laughs> mm. Maybe it's sending it wrong. Let's try that first. Maybe it's sending it wrong. It's been a while since I did HTML. I need a bro I'm rusty on everything. Holy crap. Dang. Let's encode it. It doesn't work. Ah. This is not working too well. Let's send it through a proxy. Yay. My favorite thing. Burp. Start. Over here. Activating the proxy. Setting. Already got that configured. If you need to, you can watch the other video. It's very simple. Intercept. Okay. Yeah, send to the repeaters, and I want to do it over and over and over again. Mm. I don't know. Render it. Come on. Ugh. Yikes, that's a weird character. Okay. Um. Let's try the actual type of text. Please work. Please work. 
Oh, bad request. Damn it. Well, that was a great effort. <clears throat> Let's try and make this executable. Execute it. Mm -hmm. Come on. This is the same as executing it in the um, uh, the browser. It's just local, so it may be faster, or I can write it, or it won't load. <laughs> Piece of crap. <laughs> Come on. Let's see here. Not even executing that. Yay. This is so much fun. I just love sometimes when I don't know what the hell I'm doing and so I just start typing random shit hoping it would work because it worked beforehand, I think. Mm. Okay. Uh... Okay, uh, there's got to be something to help me. Summon somewhere. Maybe export the program? I don't know. Uh, console. Do, do, do. Do, 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 Mm -hmm. Functions, map, memory, Python. Uh, that doesn't help. Uh. Well, not sure how I'm gonna run that. Well, that's not useful. Sorry about that. I don't know. That was really not useful, and I wish I could show you how to run it so you don't have to run it on the URL or the yeah the URL website every single time but let's just forget that I gotta try something else what are you kidding me okay well that works Thanks for watching. Uh...